Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of those videos talking about updates in the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress coming from Toady1 and Kit Fox. This one is about bees and beehives and beehive farming. Also there's an announcement at the end so stick around to the end please and thank you if you don't mind. First thing Tarn says in the uh, newsletter is that he spent the last two weeks moving. He's been in the same place for 13 years and there's been a lot of buildup. Also, he, his vacuum cleaner caught on fire, which is kind of insane. Uh, apparently, while he was vacuuming the place out, a piece of thread got caught into the vacuum and actually caught the vacuum cleaner on fire, which is, sounds like something that would happen to me, but I digress. The first thing we have here is a bunch of artificial beehives. So this is what the beehives are going to look like. Now, I just want to throw this out here. I've been watching too much Craig Smash, so I, I, I blame my own imagination here. Um, but I kind of wish that these looked more like little statues than like the little kind of triangular beehives. I, I'm looking forward to, I guess, mods to give us some different sprites for these because number one, they do really look like beehives. They do look nice, but I always, I, I don't know, I imagine them looking more like statues now. I, I, as I said, I, I blame Krug Smash. Uh, the bees industry, which is one of the most... Uh, commonly, well, not commonly requested, but it, one of the industries that exists because the community demanded it, uh, and one of the weirder uh, industries in Dwarf Fortress, but also one of the well, more well-developed and detailed industries. Uh, you collect colonies from outside uh, via this menu. You will... Um, the dwarves will go out and select the natural hives, and of course the natural hives look like this. So the natural hives take a little while to spawn, on a map when when you get onto a map and you won't always get them so bees are not a guaranteed industry that you will get but uh from the top and going counterclockwise uh we have a bumblebee colony an anthill termite mounds and then of course one fine looking honeybee hive now these hives will spawn on the map and if you spot the right hive then you can of course go on and start constructing a bees industry uh, now we have another zoomed in shot of the beehive so i'm curious what you guys think of the beehives i mean the ui is so far as seems to be following the the ui design that we have seen in the past from the rest of the steam version and uh, this looks like to be right along those lines. Uh, as for the hives themselves, as I said earlier, I kind of imagine them looking more dwarfy or artsy. Um, I do love the, the tiny little bees that you can actually see like hovering around the edges of the beehives. I think it's a really nice touch. I, I do like the little platforms they're on. It makes them look kind of movable. It almost looks like they're on wheels. Um, and then as the honey builds up, you can actually see this yellow overlay uh, next to it, at which point then you can remove the honey comb and then press the honey out of that and into wax shout out to to the yak up in the top right of this screenshot once they are ready to split as you can see here we have on the ui uh you can then split out the uh the the honeybee bits uh, at a press and then those from there can be uh brewed into mead and then the the wax can be turned into wax crafts and of course the royal jelly can be cooked um i i, I do like the look of this the they, they do look really nice but as i said before i think i'm just spoiled by craig smash's art specifically from honey stoker where they look kind of like little statues and the bees come out of the mouths um that being said I'm sure that's something that modders can work on in the future. Um, overall, the UI looks very simple and clean, which I do like. Um, everything is very clear down in the bottom of the UI, showing where everything is, and the hives themselves look really nice. Now for the little announcement. It is my birthday. So today I will be doing a charity stream over on twitch.tv slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L. We are raising money for Doctors Without Borders uh, COVID Relief Fund. If you would like to support that, there is a link down in the description if you want to just support directly. If you want to swing by and say hi as well as support that, uh, I, there's of course links to my stream in down in the description. Uh, thank you very much for watching these videos. It really goes a long way to support me and my channel. If you want to support Tarn Adams and Dwarf Fortress directly, uh, please go to bay12games.com and support them via their Patreon or directly through pay PayPal. Don't wait for the release of the Steam version because it's still going to be a little while. Thank you very much for watching these videos. Shoutouts to my patrons for supporting these, and I'll see you in the next one.